What's up guys? It's Project and we're back on our playthrough of Dragon of the North. If you missed last video, last video was covering a lot of of what the update was. It wasn't too much gameplay. But this video we're gonna have a lot of gameplay I'm trying to proceed with this hodgepodge of a build. Um, I'm not using anything particular, I'm using a uh, Dachi I found. I want to play with a little bit of challenge. Ooh, look at Fugu looking sexy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm trying to probably get rid of most of this stuff. Um, at least the head. And something else as soon as I find some gear. Obviously don't want to be C agility, but yeah, um, sorry if the auto quality is bad. Um, I explained it last video. Where this is just what I have to, uh, to record, so. It is what it is. But hopefully you enjoy today's video. Or the videos I upload today, Dragon North DLC. So let's get underway. Hopefully we can survive with this uh, setup we have here. Last video I also reset my level. I am level 170. I'll, up. I'll try to increase it little by little as we go further. But let's just see what happens with 170. Uh, we got a big good, big guy looking there. Uh, I also kind of. I kind of got better at that one skill. Um, what's it called? I'm using Odachi, the Moonlight, Moonlit Snow. So this weird skill, um, it seems bad, honestly. It's still pretty slow. Um, hopefully it's powerful, but I haven't uh, chesting damage numbers and all that stuff. A lot of Odachi stuff seems to be combo heavy. Um, none of it seems broken or anything like Blade Spin or Mad Spinner or Sign of the Cross. I'm not sure if this draw skills powerful or not again I'm taking everything how I see it but um, basically the way to do the moonlit snow is you block do your strike you can also hold it down for more power and then but you got to change stances to where you don't keep holes yet so let me see if I can pull it off here no nope. Yeah, see, if you keep pulse, then you cancel the combo. There we go. So, yeah. See, if you keep pulse, so it's kind of tricky to pull off. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it doing all that just to... Uh... So, we got a guy here. Let's see if we can... There's a ridicule. Catch him. Oh, oh! Okay. So this is a new enemy. Uh, Mr. Snakehead here. Can you shoot the head? Okay, you can. Ooh, nice. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's creepy. Is he like a mini boss or something? So he's got a fire attack, poison. He doesn't seem to move much. That's a grab attack, don't want to get grabbed of that. Again, I'm not used to this weapon, so... And we're out of stamina. Kind of bad. Seal up here. Should probably use this. Nice. So we kill whatever that was. We got War of the West. Uh, don't want to summon that guy. So cool. Our first new yokai of the game. Don't know what it's called, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, my neck. Okay. So I'm gonna try to beat all the developer revenants I find out. I see. I'm guessing that's a shortcut. So we'll rest at the shrine. 
Yeah, it's a shortcut. The unlock later. Oh, okay. Oops. Okay, I forget. I forget you had to block to do the mint movement of snow. Action. Let's try to use buffs. I'm not using buffs. Probably could use that. Ooh, that's kind of cool. How did I do that? Okay, so. Oh. Is it always two shots? So, strong attack, square, X, square again. Yeah, it does that, okay. What about strong attack? Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, new yokai. Uh, Kappa guys. Scary looking place here. See what this is. Masamuredo. Masamuredo. Okay, so you can block the second attack. That's kind of annoying. Nice. So, was that a big one I just fought? Seems like it. I can jump too. <laughs> These guys are not too bad. Probably annoying with other yokai. So yeah, there's small ones and there's big ones. Those guys are big. I don't know if he shooting them does anything. Kind of makes him mad. <laughs> oh! Oh no, Fuku! What was that? Where'd his hand go to? <laughs> I don't want to know. And I see the umbrella. Oh no. So you can just block all those attacks, but so many of them, and it's. So if we get hit by the first one. Uh. So if we get hit by the first one. Okay. Let's try out. See how this works. Whoa, okay. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> well, those guys are pretty cool. Red Kappa Shell. Kappa. And we got a little Kodama here. Let's rescue our little friend. Oh man. You know what? Where's that gesture? Uh, 
Here we go. Let's see, uh... Yeah. Uh... Puku! Covered up more <laughs> than I thought you would. Here we go. I like this pose. It's cool. Bring it on. Ah, uh, she's the best. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Guess you have to run around here. Got a little yokai. So there's a lot of enemies. Oh! Oh! Oh, and I'm out of key. That's kind of messed up. So yeah, these guys are really annoying. Pretty annoying. Well, most people have had high, higher weapon, better weapon than I have. Oh, these guys are hard, right? Get that protection talisman going. Get carnage. Okay, so that first one was just like a boss. These guys seem a little more, more manageable. Definitely more manageable. Rai Odachi. Same one I have now. It's just uh, Bloodstained Cleaver. Close quarter damage of full life, 12%. Close quarters? Should it just be called close combat damage? Maybe it's a separate category, damage category. Hmm. Interesting. So nothing, still they haven't gotten a helmet to replace the current helmet. Gotcha. Is he gonna hop down? Can you hop down? Oh no. I'm running low on elixirs. Probably get the. Was it Medicine Man, I think? Yeah, these right here. Get all of those, and then. Um, this right here. There we go, make things a little bit easier for me. I got one elixir left. How do I get to uh, that thing? Charm. And there was nothing up here, right? Just uh, Oh snap. Oh no. Yeah. Say. no. kind of a shortcut, I guess. We gotta go through the annoying umbrella guy. Okay, let's see what this is about. Looks looks really dangerous for one elixir left. Uh, hand protection's almost out. Yeah, boss up ahead of time. Okay. 
Oh wow, that's annoying, yeah. That hurt. Living weapon moveset, uh, though, Dachi. Where's the little guy? Be pretty careful about this guy because he only got 100 health. Where'd he go? Fairly certain I'm gonna die here. Um, if I struggle too much, I'm just gonna sp speed run past whatever I've beaten to get back where I was. But uh, let's see what this little guy is. Okay. Oh no. You can't really see when they're gonna do that. Oh. Quick change, save me. Eight elixir. Full health. See if we can survive. Oh, here's a shrine. Never mind. Nice, we made it. Not really sure what to talk about. <laughs> Is this how these things usually go? I have no idea. Um, six four. Sake, a. So, unfortunately, no upgrades, a lot of normal stuff. Hmm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, is that the guy from before? Oh, I see, I see that guy. So you can't hit these guys, so shoot them. statue. We got a treasure chest here. Poison charm. So I hope you guys are enjoying the DLC. Um, seems fun so far. Hopefully it stays that way. It's definitely challenging. More challenging before. Whoa, look at <laughs> Oh! Wow, that's a... That's some kind of range. They don't stay... They don't stay down for long. And they're so slow, it's hard to bait them. But I know there's another one over there. Yeah, we gotta watch out for that. Almost got him. Let's put buffs on and speed up this process a little bit. Not my bad. 
kind of want to get grabbed by them. Um, but I'll wait a while. Just to see the animation for you guys. Show that off. Hey, little guy. So, okay, moving onwards, healing up. So we got another one of those guys, it seems. Wow. I know this is just gonna knock their helmet off. Or not, okay. So these axe guys are kind of scary. They seem to hit really hard. Oh, look at that damage you've done to me. That's crazy. And there's two of them, right? Is that a sword guy? Oh, no, he's a... I heard that. He set up a lot of ambushes, huh? Jeez, that range. That's crazy. Ow! <laughs> Hold still. Yeah, shooting them doesn't really do anything. You see, like, one attack. No, uh, final blows or anything like that. At least from what I'm... Playing. Oh, okay. Okinotsukai. Okinosuke, the bamboo splitter. It's got five, five swords. It must be pretty hard. Dual swords guy, huh? <laughs> Not hard at all. Frontline. Megaruku Kanamoto Dual Katana? Is that new? Oh no. Damage towards Onyido. Something here. Oh, Kepa. How did I miss all that? Whoa, okay. A shortcut or something? Yes, it is. Actually, we'll rest up. So, is this max now? Okay, so we at least got familiarity damage bonus C. Plus. That's something. So, yeah, I'll, I'm struggling more than most people probably would be right now. But. I guess that makes it kind of fun. Huh? Was he not the snake guy? Kind of? Nice hyper. Arm. Oh, yeah, he was a snake guy. One-eyed one dragon's armor. Is that gloves? One-eyed dragon's ambition. Is that uh, Date's set? Might be. Yep, Date's set. Uh, Amrita sense, close combat damage, wind damage, forty-five percent. Key eight plus. 
you know, increase damage, consecutive attacks. So the more you hit consecutively, the more you deal more damage. It's probably like a little counter, like um, when you do that, that little status icon is probably something like that for the amount of time you're allowed to do consecutive hits. So skills like Mad Spinner and um, and Reaper, are probably it's probably good for that. Kind of cool. One Eye Dragon's ambition plus wind damage. So you can pause the video if you want to read all this. Um, I'm not really interested in that right now. So let's move on. We got this guy right here. We got that guy. We got a lot of them. Should we? Oh no. Well, that's a lot to deal with. You can only get like one hidden. These guys are slow. They don't run or anything, they just walk slowly. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> I forget they can do that. Scary guy. This guy is probably the scariest thing we face. It's a normal action. See ya. Oh, his leg came off. Let's see what this item is. So let me know in the comments if this is how these things usually go. <laughs> Just commenting about the gameplay, because um, normally I'm mostly trying to help people, so I'm not like uh, trying to comment on the actual game part. See, these Kappa guys are really not. So there's a lot of annoying <laughs> enemies in the DLC. If it was poison, it would have been okay, but it's paralysis. And they seem to have hyper armor. They don't seem to get stun knocked. I'm not sure if that's specifically them or if it's for everyone. Oh. Do they always apply the water debuff? I feel like some of this stuff got buffed. I'm getting debuffed a lot more often. A lot more easier anyways. Oh no. Man, dealing with two of them is annoying. See, yeah, they don't... They don't get stun lock easy. Oh, we got a hot spring, okay. Nice. So 
up, little baby guys? Just chilling. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting her to uh, pull a William and... But I guess that's not... Hey, little guy. Large soul stone, huh? How do I get over there? Master Samurai Locks. It's pretty cool. So I guess we're gonna have to find another way up there. Get a little Kodama guy. Normal one. Oh, see ya. She's like, see ya. Oh wait. Oh no. Okay. I thought I crushed him. That would be bad. Exit over here. Okay, so we go this way now. Oh, oh, okay. It scared me. I was like, whoa. What now? Oh my god, it's a big guy. The Hulk. The Hulk's coming after me. <laughs> oh. He just came stopping. That was pretty funny. Do, 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 do. Scary. Oh, okay, so now we can unlock the shortcut and uh, proceed onwards. Might as well heal up. Oh my god, there he is. See, that's why I wish this weapon had like a like a really charge skill like a great sword and monster hunter where you just charge that baby up and just bam um, unfortunately all we got is a bunch of different types of swings and this moonlit shadow thing doesn't seem that powerful This weapon is really good at um, depleting keys, so there might be key depleting builds for this. We'll see what kind of builds we can come up with. <clears throat> Obviously going to try to get the most damaging build first, but eventually with PvP and, PvP and stuff, it'd be cool to do like key stuff. Oh man. Konnichiwa. I like high stance. I like that. Strong attack. Very strong. Oh, you laughed at me. Oh, you missed. <laughs> okay, come on. Man. Oh, no wonder you laughed at me. You did so much damage. Oh, no. Second death. Luckily, we have the shortcut. And luckily, I prayed at that shrine. See, smart gameplay. <laughs> okay, now we know he's there, so we're gonna hit him with that arrow. Because he's got no helmet. Oh, he's facing backwards, though. Let's see if we can get it right there. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Hello. <laughs> Completely missed him. Oh, 
Wait your turn. She's mad. Oh! So that skill seems pretty decent. Um, triangle or square. So that triangle. So light attack, light attack, strong attack seems kind of good. I haven't been using it. We've also got burning oils. Let's just toss one of those on. See how those play out. Maybe they're effective. We also have this. Use that. Get some more skill points. And here we got the burning, burning oil char. We'll try those out. Really cool. Whoa. Let's go try it on this guy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's it? Okay. So he just grabs you. Yeah, that fire damage did nothing. Um, I guess it's mainly so you can, you can yeah. apply force effects. Yeah, so you can apply the scorch effect. Uh, in PvP, they seem pretty good. Is this a, a revenant? A developer revenant? Uh, well, whatever. Whoa, whoa, okay. So, this is the, the second new yokai. Whoa, okay, he's in harder, he seems tall too, jeez. Long range, he's using an Odachi to turn into it. <laughs> it seems pretty hard. Got a wild, long reaching attack pattern. Well, at least that variant, because he's got an Odachi. Jump off here. I guess you can. No, I guess you can't. I'm just gonna jump off there. So we got another shrine. This little guy here. He's the leader of the pack. <laughs> oh. Oh, we still haven't found any upgrades, I don't think. We're getting plus three weapons. Ooh. Okay, so we got a new spear. Great halberd of Hihiragi. Hi Hiragi. Bonus at the purification. Increase key recovery speed. And change the attack spirit. Okay, so we got a spirit scaling spear. That's kind of cool. Uh, I 
This is new. Shujingiri Kanemitsu, fire damage on a weapon and close combat attack. Purification. So when you purify the Yoka Realm, you gain a, a buff for a certain amount of time and then you also get fire damage. Famed Swordsmith Kanemitsu, the Osafun style. This looks new too, right? Yep. Poison. What does that star mean? The star symbol is that. Probably have to go to Blacksmith to find out. Jakiri Maru. Weaken armor legs. See, I don't get this stat right here. If someone can explain that in the comments down below, if you're watching this still. Um, May temporarily weaken the enemy's armor when you hit, when you land a hit, vastly reducing its defense and preventing it from triggering special effects. Does that only apply when you hit the legs of an enemy, or because I've seen head, torso, and legs, but wouldn't torso be the best since you can just like hitting the legs seems kind of specific. Hmm. This is new too. Hotaramaru. Lightning damage. So it's like, um. Sujingiri. Hotaramaru. Grants a specified bonus when you absorb Amrita. So what was it? Bonus for absorb absorbing Amrita. Auto recovery. Ooh. See, like, this is what I mean. Like, this is gonna make builds such more interesting and and variety based diverse I mean you're gonna have so much weird effects like this and then you have lightning damage there's gonna, be so, there's gonna be a lot of builds so this is really exciting for me probably the most exciting thing about the DLC honestly is all these new effects and it's not even part of the DLC I think it was a part of the free update patch 1.07 but stuff like this is really gonna be what makes it fun and drags on the, the play, replayability of the game I'm really glad they added all these cool new effects. So, uh, any new armor? We got Swallowtail. Key damage, matchlock. This seems new. Nagaki, Nagaki armor. Yeah, ambush. Ooh, so this is good for uh, Tengen builds right here. Tengen builds grants an attack increase when you absorb Amrita. Oh, we got Date's helmet. Can't see how it looks because we have Fuku skin, but pretty cool. One-Eyed Dragon's Ambition. See, I can get all the armor early on if you're lucky from drops. Obviously later on, Huh? Okay, so these can roll. Oh, that well, this specific helmet. Just two though. That seems a little bit weak, considering we can go to plus 15 weapons now. I think, and then potentially level 200. So two attack. Eh. Not impressed. <laughs> so how much? Uh, well, you need a lot of body for that. 17 body. And he's a dual sword user, right? Yeah. For one eyed dragon. Uh, nothing new here. Oh, this is new. Attendance armor. Lower enemy attack. Ranged attack. It's pretty cool. With a ranged weapon, okay. So uh, I don't I don't think uh, shurikens and stuff apply to that. It says ranged weapon. It could apply though. That'd be kind of cool to throw a shuriken to lower enemy attack by 15%. I'm curious to see what's transferable or inheritable to other stuff. Attendance again with this. So you can reduce the attack of something by a lot. 
potentially good for um, bosses to use against bosses. You shoot them once, it lowers their attack for a bit. Kind of cool. Um, you obviously need the stats to get it though. Body skill. I probably want 200. Oh, I already have 200 toughness. Okay. So what's my equipment weight? 26. Should probably get 30 so I can get that 10% damage boost from the hidden equipment weight damage bonus. Um, see if we can equip any legs. Equip these. Gives us more armor. Uh, doesn't increase our weight though. That's really light. Probably have to pump stamina up a little bit. Um, whenever we level up. Still using the plus four. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'd be able to be able to forge a good Odachi. Let me check my time here. So yeah, we're coming in close to the end. So I'm going to stop it here for the sake of time. Um, make sure to watch the next part and upload next. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Or not today's, but the, uh, <laughs> this video. Hope you guys enjoy this video because I'm trying to upload as much as I can today um, for the playthrough of Dragon of the North DLC. So if you enjoyed today uh, this video, God, uh, leave a like, comment down below any anything you want. Um, anything you want to see, um, any tips and stuff like that, be helpful for me. And uh, subscribe for more Neo Epicness. See you guys.